Gas exchange. All of our cells need energy. They get it by breaking down glucose, a simple sugar we get from food. This process, called cellular respiration, uses oxygen and produces carbon dioxide as waste. The main function of the respiratory system is to provide the oxygen from out of the air and remove the carbon dioxide into the air. This takes place in the lungs, with the gases carried to and from the cells by the bloodstream. The exchange of gases between the blood and the air occurs in the alveoli, microscopic air sacs in the lungs that are surrounded by tiny blood vessels. When we inhale, all 300 million alveoli expand and fill with air. Oxygen diffuses from the alveoli into the blood and carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood into the alveoli. Diffusion is the natural movement of gas or liquid particles from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. Think of how the smell of baking biscuits spreads out from the oven right through the house. Diffusion can even take place through a membrane if the particles are small enough to get through it. For example, a helium balloon that's been left for a couple of days gets smaller and softer because the helium has slowly diffused through the skin of the balloon into the surrounding air. The walls of the alveoli are membranes too, ones that oxygen and carbon dioxide can diffuse through. Because breathing keeps bringing fresh air into the lungs and the circulatory system keeps bringing blood that is low in oxygen and high in carbon dioxide, diffusion always acts to bring oxygen into the body and take carbon dioxide out. And this goes on day in, day out, for every minute of our lives. So that our cells stay alive and so that we stay alive.